Hey the guys, Weenio here. I just hit the mic. I'm an idiot. Hey the guys, Weenio here. Welcome back to uh let's turn on our controller first. Uh this has been your host, Sespuja Weenio. See you next time. Bye bye. No. Uh we are in uh where are we? Starhaven? No. Oh. What the fuck's the name of this city? Mm. Mm. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> anyway, uh, this town has a shop, it has an inn, it has all the stuff you could want. Why did that just like lag out? I'm scared. Um, let's get rid of one of these. Let's get rid of this honey syrup. Actually, why did I do that? Oh yeah, I know why I did that. Okay. <laughs> God, I'm an idiot. Um, one of these places you stay at and you get an ultra shroom for staying there. Gives me great joy to hear your star speech return. Oh, wait, what is he even is this accent? It seems so odd, a star making our accent. Yes, how do the stars make wishes and who grants them? Who watches the watchmen? The real questions that need to be answered. Are you the one who gives an ultra shroom? Yeah. Please relax. As he massages me with his star bits. Um, I mean that as in like the phalanges that hang off the center part of the star. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's in a Starborn Valley, actually, that you get that. Anyways, let's continue. To Star Haven. In the beginning of the game. Hello, friends. Mario, you finally made it. it. Took you long enough. The time has come to take the fight to Bowser's turf. Now, hold still while we seven join together to bestow upon you our final power. And Mario just explodes into confetti. Mario can now use Star Beam. A Star Beam. To use this power, you can drain the power of the Star Rod whenever Bowser uses it. Ah, uh, yes, one more thing. I have one final gift which should come in handy. Why are we lagging out? What? Is my authentic N64, like, blown away by the graphics? Like, the Paper Mario devs were like, let's bump up the graphics on Chapter 8 and just fuck my shit in the future. With this ship, however, you can reach it. Climb aboard, on to Bowser's castle. We will always be with you. Whenever you are in need, use our powers to help you. Um, sure. I feel like there was something I needed to do. Back in Toad Town. Was there something I wanted to show? I don't think so. <laughs> Must not be important, like, the, <laughs> that whole meme. <laughs> Look, a shooting star. Princess, come back. Did you wish for something? Hope your dreams come true. <laughs> Me too. I want to see the princess. What a lame wish. Go look at a picture. It'll last longer. I want to eat shroom cake. I want to eat shroom cake. I want to eat tons and tons of shroom cake. Oh, shooting star, please fulfill my wishes. Pretty please. Little do they know, it's some Italian fucking plumber flying through the sky in a goddamn egg with some dude who has identi dissociative identity disorder. Chapter 8, A Star Powered Showdown. Let's end this. So as I said, Bowser's Castle is like one big ass dungeon. Um, because it's Bowser's Castle and then it goes into Peach's Castle. Uh, but it's not too difficult. We are very, very, very well prepared for this part of the game. The only thing I would be cautious about at this part uh, would be good gravy, dude. First off, we don't need um, ice power anymore, but we might need spike shield because there are spiked enemies in Bowser's Castle, like I said. Um, 
We'll see. We'll see, uh, we'll see if it, uh, comes in handy or not. If I start to see a lot of enemies that are not spiked, then I'll probably take it off. There's also armored enemies in Bowser's Castle, as you can see. Like, this guy's spiked and armored. Everything in one, and I didn't get a first hit because I suck. I'm actually curious, how much experience do these guys give? Two. Oh god, and they call reinforcements. It never ends! I probably have like around 10, 12 HP if I had to guess. It seems to be the high end scale of things in this game is 12. Bazinga, as uh, a great man once said. Just kidding, I'm not a fan of Big Bang Theory. I've never have been, never will be. You got the castle key. Just some toads hanging out? Sure, why not? Let's just leave them in there, not even talk to them. Don't even say anything to them, they suck. So castle key allows us to go in through the front door now. Yay. Mm, try to get a first strike. There we go. Alright. Continuing onward. Um, I also realized after the fact that with Crystal King when I was fighting him, the way to get two paralysis on him is to use Watt's uh, Mega Shock ability. I just completely overlooked that I could use that too <laughs> when I was fighting him. Oh my god, I remember what it was that I needed to do back in Toad Town. I needed to uh, refill my blessing thing, the card thing. Oh no! Do you see how much experience I just got for that? 21? Like, they would not stop summoning more. Every time I'd kill two, two more would show up. That sucked. Hammer Bros now. Hammer Bros, uh, as you saw, are a little erratic. <laughs> They're kind of hard to get um, sneak attacks on, or first strikes on. Unless you just run up and hammer their asses. But they are technically armored, but they can't be knocked onto their backs. So they're not like regular Koopa enemies. Jeez, we're probably going to level up in this place just from that one fight alone. <laughs> the amount of Koopa, Koopa patrols, I think they're called, that came through there. Blah. Welcome, worm. I'm called the guard door of Bowser's castle. It's my job to keep suspicious types from entering. You must be Mario. Let me guess. You want to go through here, hmm? You want to get to the other side of this wall, right? Yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> Stand in front of me. Are you standing squarely in front of me? Right exactly in front of me? Okay, then I'll let you go through. Mm-hmm. Saw it from a mile away. We're in prison. Ah-ha-ha, <laughs> you fell for a worm. You'll never escape from that impenetrable prison. Try all you like. All you do is exhaust yourself. I'll tell you what, if you make it back up here, I'll let you go through. How's that? Ah ha ha, I know you never make it. Hope you have a good time say, shaking and crying down there. I'm shaking and crying right now. Alright, at least they'll give us a heal up. Oh, Mario, you came at long last. As you can see, we're in a horrible situation. Princess Peach is who knows where, and her beautiful castle is being run by Bowser's Horde's staff of rejects. Nothing fills me with more joy than serving this castle with my heart and soul, but right now there's nothing I can do. We have no choice but to rely on you now, Mario. Please, at least save our dear Princess Peach. Fuck the castle, save Peach. No hidden blocks or anything? You guys suck. Alright, well, as you can see, we need Bombette. There we go. It's a piece of cake to break these walls. The material's weak. These are much easier than the walls of Koopa Bros Fortress. You're really lucky you have me along, aren't you? Some odd dialogue. But also, why is Bowser's Castle weaker than Koopa Bros Fortress in terms of wall quality? <laughs> it 
start talking about the infrastructure of the Mushroom Kingdom on today's episode. I don't think you can go across lava as Black Lester. I didn't even need your ass bear carry. Get out of here. Yike. 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 Yeet. Can you? You can. I totally forgot about that. Well, it doesn't make that part any easier because you have to follow the platforms to get up to the upper part of it anyways, or else you can't reach anywhere up. Or you can't get back up onto the platforms as Black Lester. But we can't explore rooms like this. See, but I can't actually get up there because I can't get off the cloud and I can't jump. Makes things a little interesting. Yay! I thought I was going to fall right there. Now we need pair carry. They're spaced out oddly. Like, <laughs> like they make you think it's okay to put them away, and then they give you one more, just in case. Mystery bag. That could be a uh, interesting to use. Basically, when you use it, it can be any random item in the game. Take a drink of my water. Alright. Bear carry one more time. Ugh. Okay. No, not sushi. Literally useless. <laughs> Just in this dungeon. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Wow, we. So let's go up here. Um, what's up guys? Uh oh, M Mario's right there. Now we're, what are we supposed to do in this situation? Kamikupa's told us something, but I'm drawing a total blank. I think she told us not to let him touch that switch. Oh, oh no. Do you think that means we have to fight him? No! He'll wipe the floor with us! Stop your belly aching. Who says we should be afraid of Mario, huh? He's not so bad. Whatever happens, we can't let him push the switch. Don't let, <laughs> don't you care that King Bowser needs our help? Come on, take this plumber. Let's show him what you're made of. Oh, we have no choice. Gotta be brave. Gotta be... Attack! Three Koopa Patrols and a Magic Koopa. Easy peasy. I'm gonna start throwing their buttholes. Real quick. Alright. Hit the switch and it's gonna turn off the lava for us. Allowing us to, uh... Get to a lot more places than we previously were able to. Lava's, um, got all hard. Can we walk on it now, huh? Can't we? That tricky old Bowser. He can't fool us, huh? Yeah, I guess not what? Not with vo vernacular vocabulary like that. I guess I could use Lackluster to move around here a little more quickly. I'm gonna grab this. Mystery! Watch it be something super stupid, and I use it during, like, Bowser's boss fight and get absolutely fucked by it. What is this? A key! The key! That was not my goofy impression, by the way. My goofy impression... My, my goofy impression can only be found on my OnlyFans and only if you're a top-tier subscriber. Then you can hear my goofy impressions. Or if we ever get around to playing Kingdom Hearts again. I actually had an idea for Kingdom Hearts, but I'm not sure I'll talk about that just yet. <laughs> In case I can't actually make it a reality and get everybody all hyped up on it. 
Hey, look at that, we need what? So these are like caves inside Bowser's castle, like peanut butter caves. Back to Donkey Kong Country up in here. These guys are shelled, or shells, shelled? They're armored and spiked. There we go. Got that spin jump on his ace. Not too threatening, but once again, the it further proves that the uh, spike shield walk combo is like the best thing for Bowser's castle. Not too difficult. I guess the most frustrating part is that you have to keep putting watt down whenever you get into a fight with anything. Okay, you gotta go upper path. You gotta use pair carry in the dark. Back to watt. Right a few pathways to go. There we go. I guess I should mention, when you're in battle with those guys, they have kind of like two modes. They have either spiked or not spiked, and when they're spiked, they have an attack that does like six damage, I think. Um, and then when they're uh, unspiked, they have just some like weak basic attack that doesn't really do a whole lot. Pow block, that could be useful if we come across a lot of uh, uh, Koopa patrols again. Okay. More caves. There's Koopa patrols all over the damn place. What the fuck? I was just waiting there. <laughs> God, I tried. <laughs> I tried so hard to get him. Okay. Let's see what was in this down path. Okay, so once again, we gotta go up and then middle. Let's see if I can get this guy. Nope. <laughs> A whopping 10 experience for that fight because once again Goop patrols just kept summoning more and more of them trying to kill me but I did use that pow block that I was talking about it just didn't do a whole lot for me <laughs> in the grand scheme of things it didn't do a whole lot I should also mention that Koopa patrols if you keep them alive long enough they turn rainbow and go into their shells and then you can no longer knock them on their back and their attacks do nine damage That's a level up. So, health is at max, BP is at max. The only thing you can raise now for going forward is our FP, which we will definitely do. Even though we don't really run into many FP troubles at the moment. Our FP is like one of the few things that I worry about. I wish I could somehow get more BP, but you honestly can't. Once you, once you hit the maximum, that's it. Got him. <laughs> All right. Let's say, is that the way forward? Yeah. All right. Back to the uh, jump pad. What's across this gap then? Uh. Hold on, I'll fight you. Okay. Nothing. Just one fight? What the heck? Thought it'd be something uh, actually worth seeing, but alright. Further into the castle we go. Now that we made our way back up. Odd placed block. 
So if you push it, it opens up a door at the bottom of the screen. Not sure why that does that, but sure. Blah, huh? You came back? You escaped from that underground jail? But there is no way you could escape. Er, of all the dirty tricks. I guess I have to keep my word. You can go through. Don't think I'll forget this. And he actually lets us through. Like a gentleman and a scholar. Okay. We got a big room with lots of directions we can go. Um, we're gonna go up and back this way first. Leads to an item shop. Well, who are you, man? I don't know your face. Maybe you're Mario? <laughs> Just joking. I'm the guard of this warehouse. I'm really, really bored, man. Hey, you know, if you got any coins, I'll sell you stuff. Sure. Oh, you're loaded, man. Take a look around. Um, only thing that would be worth it here is like Thunder Rages, or if we needed recovery items, Super Shrooms, but not, not stuff I'm gonna worry about right now. Figure out what's up this way. Is this the way to go? Maybe? How did I get hit by that? All right. Wowee! Didn't work. All right. Just a whole bunch of baloney. Okay, four magic Koopas in one fight? That's no joke. That actually was like semi-threatening. <laughs> oh, I think this is the right way to go. So what's... What is a... Uh, down in this uh, big room with four directions or is there not a door there because it's potential that there's not a door there but I could have swore you could go that way I just don't remember what it was okay we're going down we're going down down oh hey prison <laughs> Damn it. A key. Alright. I come all the way from Dry Dry Desert to Princess Peach's party, and look what happens. I've been to some lame parties, but this was ridiculous. I want to go back to the desert as soon as possible. Mario, you're safe. Well, I'm so glad. We all got captured before we knew what was happening. A few people at the party were able to get away, but they caught most of us. I wonder where Princess Peach, the minister, and all the other guests are. We've already found them. Mario, your main goal is to save the princess, isn't it? She must be doing okay, holding on to the belief that you'll come. We soldiers should have broken out to save her by now. But it's taken all of our effort just to protect the prisoners. What a shame. Toad House slogan is refresh your body and soul. This isn't a Toad House, but you can take a quick nap. Yeah, we'll do that. Sleep on our prison slab. No blanket or pillow. <laughs> Did you sleep well? We'll take the healing from that. Continue on our way. Alright, so it's just an inn down that way. It's kind of cool that they give you an inn and the uh, item shop up here to kind of make up for the fact that this is such a long dungeon that you basically don't have a town that you visit for quite some time. Some, uh, it's a nest. But this is dog, yes? Alright. This room. I know this is the way forward because we have to fill this room with water. And lo and behold, I get to eat my fucking words because sushi actually has a use here. Toilet flushing sound effect. Okay. Let's whip out the quote unquote most useless party member by Wienia's standards. <sighs> and go back through this door. Yikes. Noise. 
I need Bombette once more. Let me in. Wow, way to miss. Way to miss. That leads us to another chain. Okay, let's fill water up to level three. Now there's not really a whole lot we can do in the third room. Cause like the whole room's underwater now. So there's gotta be a way to drain the water eventually, right? The key. Do you, I forgot, do you drain it just by going back to the switches? Thank you. Man, two shots of me drinking water? You guys normally have to pay extra for that. You gotta be like a tier 20 sub on my OnlyFans. All right, we got a castle key we can get through. We're gonna get rid of sushi for obvious reasons. <clears throat> we got golden bullet bills. Uh, this is gonna be another fight where Watt is immensely useful, but we'll actually show off the bullets first. Same as the ones that we saw in Cooper Bros Fortress, except they have a little bit more health now, but not too much more health. They still relatively die in one hit, only give one experience. Easy peasy. Oh my lord. There's another spot in the game you can farm experience. So, for these cannons, obviously you want to use your hammer because they are armored. Heavily armored. And you want to use Watt because Watt goes through armor, so that's where you're going to get your most damage output on these guys. Although I only think they have like 6 HP, so they keep it relatively simple. Even though it's like end game fights. I probably should have done that the other way around. I should have killed that as Mario and then used Watt on the uh, cannon. Oh, maybe they have more than that. Maybe they have like 10 HP. Still, that means like two attacks from Watt and they're dead. Either way. Have another round of them. I guess the other route you can do this um, is you could uh, use Bombette and plant her to basically blow them up. Uh, in such a way, like, out out in the actual, like, world world, so that your first strike is her doing a bomb attack on them. That could be useful. I think that's what we did in Cooper Bros. Fortress, wasn't it? I can't remember now. Alright. One more time. And you toast. Toast with jam. Honey syrup. Uh, honey syrup? Honey suckle? Honey suckle jam. Dude, if you made an album. Oh my god. If. <laughs> shut up, you already know where I'm going with this. If you had an album and you named it like Cannery Row, <laughs> and you just had. All of these songs named after certain jams or honeys. <laughs> Your first song would be named Honeysuckle. Okay, joke over. You may laugh now in the comments. Come up with your set list for Cannery Row in the comments. Ah, it's the rainbow attack that I was talking about. Son of a bitch. Well, that makes him the most dangerous thing here, because 9 damage in comparison to, like, the 2 damage we would take from the bullet bill... Pretty negligible. 
Okay, five damage. You know, that's what I get for not being able to block it like an asshole. I'm just gonna, like, jump on his ass. I'm gonna jump on his ass! <laughs> God, shut up, dude. That sound like that sounds like a bad coach impression. <laughs> Just like the way I said ass, like ace, makes me sound like coach. Rest in pepperoni. Aren't they supposed to be saving our asses? Why would you do that? I guess it does the same amount of damage. So either way, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Magic Koopa first, because if he buffs these guys, that could be redonkulous. Redonkulous on the tonkulous. On the oculus. Homunculus. Never mind, if I had an <laughs> if I had an album, I'd have a song named Redonkulous Homunculus. I guess my new hit single Redonkulous Homunculus wouldn't really fit on the Canary Row album, so I'd have to come up with a new one. Dry bones? We haven't seen dry bones yet. That's not till Thousand Year Door. What the heck are you doing in this game? Um. Dry bones. I think dry bones are unique in the sense that they can't actually die. Um. I'm trying to remember. Yeah. It, it's something like all dry bones on screen have to be dead at the same time. Uh, for it to actually count as you winning, quote unquote. And as you see, they have two armor as well. Yeah. And we get no experience. Okay, well, that answers the question about whether or not this guy's worth fighting, even. Excuse me, just grabbing that. One of these opens up into the door that leads you out of here. Excuse me. There it is. Don't! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> you were in the animation. Couldn't get me. I think we have a... Yeah, another room. That's the same exact way. We gotta find a key. That uh, beetle guy might be worth fighting. That's a level up. Um, FP as, as usual. As per uh, usual nowadays. It's gotta be this first one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, we just leveled up. I, I guess I didn't need to use that. We need a key. Does anybody have one? A key blade. That was not my goofy impression either. Don't get excited. Alright. Well, this one's already open for us, this door. Just to double check. I don't think any of these can be pushed open. Yeah. Further we go. This looks suspicious. Hmm. Maybe one of these does push this side. Like this one. <laughs> oh man. They got us good. There's the key we need. Let's head back to that door. Man, all these long hallways. <laughs> I could have healed up there, but I don't really need it. I do need it. <laughs> Never mind. I just saw what my health was at. I didn't realize I was down like almost 20. Alright. Another one of these. Rah! Who would have thought you could make it this far? 
You won't make it any farther because unfortunately for you, I won't let you pass. Ra ha ha. But I guess if you really want, I'll give you one chance. Because I know there's no way you'll make it anyway. You want to give it a shot? This is completely pointless, but I suppose I'll let you try. Because, of course, I have such a kind and generous heart. Just joking, worm. Ha ha ha. Now, Mario, do you want to know what I've got in store for you? Now for a little quiz. Several of my followers will come out here. Your job is to carefully keep track of their numbers and colors. Then you'll have to answer my questions correctly. Quite frankly, we both know that this is impossible, but if I let you get five but if you get five questions right, I'll let you go through. You're allowed only two mistakes though. Fool that you are, you'll likely make three mistakes and suffer the dire consequences. Let's get going. So you just have to pay attention to what comes out of these doors. So obviously we got four Goombas and three of the uh, Koopas. Now, tell me how many Koopas were there? Three. But these questions can get really interesting. Like the worst ones are when he asks like, what door did these ones come out of? Or what door did they go into when they left? Things like that. But it's not always gonna be like how many of what are there? Like sometimes questions get interesting, but that's all based on random chance. So we got three blues, four or th four blues, three reds, four greens. Now, which were there three of? Uh, red. You're right. That question must have been way too easy. Now it'll be harder. Next question. Okay, we got two bombs, two red shy guys, four blue guys. Now, who came out of the middle entrance? Uh, the red shy guys. You can usually tell when he's gonna ask one of those when they all come out of the same door. If they're all like mixed up, then you know he's not gonna ask one of those. We got two Goombas, four Koopas, three blue guys, one green guy. How many Goombas were there? Two? No, there's three, right? Oh, thank God. <laughs> I second guess myself, like, right at last minute. Can't believe you got four questions right. All right, enough of this. I'm going to quit messing around and ask you a really hard one. Next question. We got purple, red, and Goomba. Now, how many arms did you see just now? Uh, four. Ah, cracked. I can't believe it. You got five of my super duper brain busters right. I've been defeated by Mario. Oh, the shame. And away we go. Super shroom. Nice pickup. Maple syrup. We don't really need that. Oh my goodness. Man, there was only one guy in that fight. The rest were dry bones, so like, I <laughs> only got one experience out of it. <laughs> ah, what a rip! Alright. There's a jam and jelly up there. In case we want to release our sequel to the album, but I'm going to pass on it. Ugh, magic Koopas. I'm just gonna woo avoid these fights. Because to be honest, we don't really need the experience. And we're not gonna encounter any new enemies yet. At this point. Now we got sick guitar riffs and Bowser's music, because we're getting ever so closer to the end. Another one of these rooms, so we're gonna check out all of these pathways. Is this way forward? That might be. No, not sushi. That might actually be the way forward, so... 
check out other ways first. Um, I know this is not the way forward. We got, um, whoo -wee! Our usual bomb bet puzzle here. I don't think I can... Oh, I can jump over there. Okay. In Ultra Shroom. What a joke. I didn't want to come all this way for an Ultra Shroom. But I guess I could get rid of one of those. I'm definitely not fighting that Dry Bones. God damn it. Okay. Magic has been revealed. Bombette is strong against Dry Bones. <laughs> Uh, I did her bomb attack. It did 17 damage to one of them. And it killed it, so I actually got experience for it. So, that's how you beat a Dry Bones, is with Bombette using any kind of explosion attack. Um, not that that's like the easiest thing to pull off, but uh, it happened. <laughs> Just letting you know. Hello. get another key. I think this just serves as another inn that we can sleep in. If I had known this was going to happen, I would have gone home with Mayor Penguin. I wish I'd wake up in Shiver City and never have to leave again. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I dream of sweet shaved ice treats every single day. Thank you for coming. It's so good to see you. All the prisoners got split up, so it's just between us four. All the others all safe. Hope this whole horrible mess will be over once green night. Yeah. All right, good work finding us. Thanks for coming. I can't believe I was captured so easily. How shameful. But Princess Peach is being held under heavy security. Please save her. Um, we don't need to sleep. The only reason I would sleep would be to recover some FP. But honestly, like... I'm probably gonna just kill Dry Bones as I normally do instead of using all of my FP. But, oh, instead of using all my FP on them. Because... I don't really need the experience from them, because I don't really need to level up at this point in the game. Unless I just want to keep on grinding out uh, FP. But I really don't need to. Alright. Uh, locked door. Top way has an open door, so we'll go that way. Okay. Where's the key? Where's Rachel? I can't get Bombette down there from here, can I? Yeah, no. Alright. I could do that, though. Woo! Lucky me, there was a Dry Bones in that fight. There we go. KSLP. Still not my goofy impression, don't get excited. Man, I, I don't even remember for the life of me like how close we are to the end of this place. I know there's still some fights. Like, there are moments where I'm like, oh, that has to happen before we get to the end of this. I'm just not sure how far away some of those things are. Okay, so, this room might seem pretty, uh, inconspicuous, but this pattern in the background is up, down, down, up, down, up. So you gotta remember that. Up, down, down, up, down, up. Up. Down. Down. Oop. A down. And last, up. 
Boom. Um, if you don't actually oh, follow the pattern there, uh, it just endlessly loops, and you'll just be wondering what the hell you're doing until you go back one time, and then you'll see that it's uh, back to the start, and you'll be like, oh, maybe there's a pattern. <laughs> I thought it was like the candles or something told you the way, but I guess it really is just like those candle things in the background. I thought it was like in the hallways though, that told you. Alrighty. Looks like we got a magic Koopa, but once again, I'm not looking for a fight with any of these guys. Because I certainly don't need it. Recovery block, that's suspicious. Like we're walking into something dangerous. Oh, hey. Oh, Mario, you came to rescue me. Thank you so much. Oh, me? Oh, I just saw a chance to get away from Bowser and I ran. There's no need to fight him because I'm already safe. See, no need to fight. Let's hurry up and go home. I'll be right behind you. All right, if you say so. And so Peach slowly goes off screen. Once she's off screen. Aha. Uh -huh. You rap scallion. Oh, what's, what's wrong, Mario? A suspicious guy? I, I didn't see anything. Maybe it was your imagination. Huh? You what? You want to save the people in Preach's castle? Who cares about them? Ouch. How could you be? <laughs> You're so cruel, Mario. Why do you want to hurt me? I'm going to tell King Bowser you're treating me like this. No, out. Stop it. Please don't help me, King Bowser. I said cut it out. Oh, shoot. I wonder how you saw through my disguise. It was perfect. Well, I guess there's nothing I can do about it now. I'll just beat you up instead. Yeah, go for it, son. <laughs> Since when was there for you? So something that sucks is those guys didn't give me experience, but also uh, Watt actually can't do damage to herself, I learned. When they transform into her, uh, she doesn't do any damage. How in the world did you get this far in the castle? Congratulations. But this is the end of your adventure, I'm afraid. I've got much better defenses than the other guard doors do. Your luck has just run out. Come on, boys. Well, look who it is. Here come the Koopa Bros. I bet you never thought you'd see us again, huh, Mario? You do remember who we are, don't you? Uh, no. What? I just said we were the Koopa Bros. How can you not remember us? Now they're going to beat you within an inch of your life. Feel like running away, Worm? Tell you what, if you beat them, you can go through here. Of course, you'll fail. But at least you can try. Gah! Don't think we're like before. We've increased our power beyond our wildest dreams. After you trounced us, we learned a new technique and trained all day, every day. We're not just the Koopa Bros. We're the super ultra mighty Koopa Bros. The great. Check out our coolness. Huh? Ah! I found you, Mario! Ah! At last, you're mine. It was a pain finding you, you know. Today, at long last, I'll settle my score with you. And so, once again, <laughs> here comes Mario. This is the final fight. Only one of us is walking away from this battle. Uh, good old Junior Troopa. Hasn't changed a whole lot. How armored is he? Two? Yeah. Well, Watt is still going to be MVP against him. And we electrocute him now when he attacks us. But if you saw that, he does 5 damage, which is actually nothing to sneeze at. Achoo! But I think he's going to change up his attack patterns during this fight. Like, once you do a certain amount of damage, it pushes him into a new phase. Darn it. Okay, try this on for size. Ultimate power! Spiked flying again. And <laughs> he goes into his shell. Meaning he's armored as well when he uh, does certain attacks. So that can be pretty dangerous, but, as per usual, we still have high enough attack power that it doesn't really matter. We can still do decent damage to him. Ooh, if I don't block that, it does eight. Uh, but also, this is another use for Spike Shield, because if we, if we didn't have Spike Shield, we wouldn't be able to attack him at all. Shoot. Okay, maybe something else. How about this? Ah, you've still got some skills. 
That is incredibly difficult to time, so I'm surprised I got that. Um, I should probably heal. You know what? Star beam! <laughs> I'll use smooch. Get some healing in, just in case. That's kind of like a, an insurance policy of myself to make sure I don't actually die to like something that does a ton of damage out of nowhere. I could try paralysis on him, but I don't think it's going to do much. Yeah, he's still doing five damage per hit. Okay, he's gone. And for the last time, we beat Junior Troopa. Darn it, darn it, darn it! Don't think you've won, Mario. I swear to you, I'm gonna beat you so bad next time. Gosh! Um... So since you beat the guy that beat the Koopa Bros, does that mean you beat the Koopa Bros? No, you beat him. He beat them. But you didn't actually lay a finger on... Ah! It's too confusing. Okay, fine. I guess there is no big difference between that guy and the Koopa Bros. You can go through. It's not possible for you to beat King Bowser anyway. I'll let you have the honor of being beaten personally by the evil King Bowser. Lucky you. I don't know. I feel like if you fought like an endgame version of the Koopa Bros, it might actually be harder than that guy.